Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with episode 268 of Ask Dave. This is another stay-at-home special. We're doing one a day to keep our minds on amateur radio and uh, away from things that might make us anxious or sad. Ham radio should make us feel happy and relaxed, right? <laughs> it's, it's good for something to do here. I'm going to do a very, very simple uh, demonstration today. I was asked how I uh, was able to shorten the wires on the MFJ17754 antenna without uh, problems. I have an example here of a wire antenna and I'm going to show you how we're going to shorten this by a certain amount with pretty good accuracy without cutting the wire and still leaving that connection nice and strong for when we put that thing up in the air. Let's take a look. Let's look at this, uh, which could be the end of a pre-manufactured antenna. I just uh, made this one by soldering this wire together. The MFJ antennas would have a, a different insulator, often a piece of plastic with a hole in it. But you get this sort of arrangement. You've got a little space there, and then there's a, a connector. Sometimes there's a clamp. Uh, it can be just about anything. And this is bare wire. This technique will, by the way, work with insulated wire, but we're just going to show it with bare wire right now. What we want to do is shorten this antenna by six inches without cutting anything, without making it impossible to go back, and in a way that we know will work. So let's suppose that we've decided that we need to shorten this end of the antenna by six inches. Now we're going to use as a point of reference the place where the wires come together. Right there. That'll be our point of reference. And we want to take six inches off of that. Six inches puts us... Sorry. Six inches puts us right there. Okay, so I'm going to put a just a little turn in the wire, just to kind of remind me of what we want to do. Um, so now watch this. Okay, it's really very simple. We want this to end up here. Okay, and we want to do it in a way that's pretty strong. If you just wrap this together like this, it'll come undone when you pull on the antenna and we don't want it to do that. So we're going to take something like right th uh, there, bend it back, okay, bend it, bend it back, see, okay, take that through the hole, and now we want this little spot here where we put the corner, we want that to be right there. Okay, so we will take this piece now that came through. That's what came through when we pushed it through. And we'll simply wrap that back around this like that. There. Now we've taken six inches out and the wire actually runs through there and is tripped around so it's extremely strong to pull on and won't pull apart and lose our adjustment there. And so that's how you can shorten it. Now let's suppose that you messed up. You overshot. And what you've got on the antenna, really, you want to give an inch back. Okay, well, let's unwrap this. Okay. From here. And push this part through. Okay, so we're over to here. We'll just straighten it out. A little bit of a kink there. We don't like kinks in antenna wire. It's not good for it. Okay. Now, we really wanted five inches. Okay, so let's just do that over again. There's the five inch point right there. And we'll start moving this part here back and in through here until we get the, the band that we made and we want it right there at that point there okay 
So we just take the remainder and wrap it around. And now that's five inches short and it's strong. And you can see that if any point there is a need to undo that, you can. You haven't cut anything. The thing will work. This works best, of course, with uh, an insulated wire, but it can be made to work with insulated wire too. But I have not done anything. I've not cut the wire. Um, I've not unsoldered it, not done anything like that. Just by the idea that you take the part you want to take back, push it through till you get to the right point, and then wrap the remainder around. Easy as pie. 3.1415927 something. Well, that was short and sweet. It's uh, just a little chance for us to uh, take a look at a technique that can be used for shortening an antenna. Uh, like, for example, the 17754 from MFJ, which is deliberately cut long. So you'll have to, I, I took over, I think, a foot off of each end, over a foot off each end. And I did it without cutting, without having to mess with the little screws or clamps or anything. And it worked fine. Uh, everything works. So let's see, where'd my horn go? I've got a toot it. Here it is. Already. <laughs> That's enough tooting my own horn. Until next time, keep your chin up, help your neighbors, and 73.